David Kamira and I do instructional videos on driftinruby.com and I'm also a panelist on Ruby Rogues. You can find me on Twitter at Cobalt or at driftinruby. The purpose of this video is that I want to introduce a new series that I'm doing. It's something that I plan on doing for an extended period of time and the content of these videos aren't really directly instructional related. So. On one hand, we have Drift and Ruby, where I do a lot of instructional videos on how to program in the Ruby language, but then also have a lot of different other ideas that don't really fit into that platform. So I wanted to create this video series where I can talk about different things around development, architecture, different reasons why I might choose certain hardware or software versus another. And so, these videos will be a compilation of all those different kind of thoughts and ideas. And so for one example for a topic would be something like our background jobs and why I might choose delay job on one hand or in another application on a different project I might use Sidekick. I believe that each one of those have their own benefits to use and I think that you must always choose the right tool for the job. And so like a lot of the videos on driftandruby.com, a lot of the topics are driven by the community. You guys have reached out to me and told me what kind of video content you want to see. And I believe that this is going to work very much like that, where I need to know what kind of topics and content that you guys want to see. And I'll consider adding it in if it's something that I feel will be globally beneficial to the whole community. So if you do have a suggestion, be sure to drop a comment and also subscribe so you'll get notified on new videos. And while I might not always read the instructional video comments that you make on YouTube, I do monitor those on driftruby.com because that has a built out community where sharing comments with code is a much nicer format. However, I will read these video comments, so do know that your voice will be heard. I might not always respond to them, but I'll definitely read them. And as a final note, if there's content that you want to create, but you feel like you're not qualified to do so, I really just want to say give it a shot. I wholeheartedly believe that the Ruby community is a great one, people are real friendly, and more often than not they'll offer you constructive criticism. And so whether it is a video, live coding, blog articles, or anything else, it doesn't matter if someone's already doing it, get in the practice and do it for yourself. I believe that you have your own voice and that you are good enough to do it. And that's one of the great things about this community is that we have so many people contributing either through video content, instructional videos, speaking at live conferences. And still every year we're asked the question, is Ruby dead or is Rails dead? And my answer to that is no. For as long as we have people creating great content out there, Ruby will still be a thriving community. So if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe now and I look forward to creating a lot more video content for you all. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.